Hello Aquarius, this is Renee and welcome back to my channel. This reading will be your February reading, uh, February 1st through the 15th. So uh, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe, hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And um, if the reading doesn't resonate, feel free to come back next week. I usually do a reading each week. Um, the first week I usually do um, the first half of the month. The second reading is a love reading. The third is the second half of the month. And the fourth is a love reading. So, yeah, feel free to come back if this doesn't resonate, Aquarius. Okay, what do we have for Aquarius? Sun, moon, and rising. What do we have for Aquarius for their greater good? We have completion. Beautiful. At the bottom, we have expansion. Okay, take another card. What do we have for Aquarius? Messages for Aquarius spirit. Shining through. Shining through. Okay. At the bottom we have a powerful move. I feel like you may be going through big changes right now, Aquarius. Something is opening up for you. You're completing some sort of cycle. Some sort of goal, some sort of achievement. I feel like it's got you on cloud nine. You know, you're shining, shining bright. Father, Mother, God. So you might be very spiritual. Are you gaining more spirituality and romance and connection? You may be, you may be a parent. Aquarius, or you may be getting into, getting into a relationship that you're becoming a step-parent, or someone has a child in here. But I feel like with this mother, father, God, and romance and connection, there's some kind of new love coming in for you, Aquarius. If you're open to a new relationship, this is a very good month for it. Okay, let's take a look at the tarot. What do we have in, for the tarot for Aquarius? Okay, what do we have for Aquarius? Messages for Aquarius, please. Sun, moon, and rising for Aquarius, very uh, greater good. The Eight of Cups. Okay. The hangman. The nine of swords. Okay. The four of wands. The five of swords. The King of Swords. Okay, lots of swords in this reading. The Three of Wands. And the Ace of Pentacles. Wow, okay. At the bottom we have the Death card. So I feel like you're definitely going through some sort of transformation. You're completing some sort of cycle. Aquarius. Um, I feel like maybe you're you're leaving something behind, but I feel like with this card you're missing somebody. You're missing someone as you watch them leave. You know, you're kind of really uh, you're looking into this cup like you're really feeling overwhelmed. You're missing someone who's leaving. Someone who's going down a different path and I feel like you you're kind of surrendering to this you're surrendering to this you know and I feel like with the hangman you know you you're kind of understanding that this is the way it has to be 
that this is something that's happening for your greater good. Um, and you're looking at this from a different perspective. And I feel like it's putting your fears to rest, Aquarius. You're fighting off your fears. You're taking action. You're finding your happiness. You know, you're not letting any worries or any challenges, any sleeplessness. You're, you're not letting any of that affect you. Because, you're, look, he's, he's battling the dragon. You know, he's not letting this dragon defeat him in any way. He's not going to lay down and take it. He's going to go ahead and grab the sword and he's going to battle his way out of this fear and anxiety. He's not going to take it anymore. So I feel like this may be something that you're putting behind you, Aquarius. You may be putting, you may be laying your worries to rest, you know, because you're also coming into more happiness more celebration, more feeling of renewal, you know. This could also be you coming back home, a homecoming. But I feel like it's something that's bringing you a lot of joy. It's something that's bringing you a lot of satisfaction. You're celebrating this feeling. This could also be having a reunion with family or friends, you know, but I, I feel like it's bringing you a lot of satisfaction. You're moving away from this Eight of Cups and you're moving into more victory, more taking back what was taken from you. See, he's taken back his swords and they're, you know, they're walking away in defeat. He's got victory in this situation. He's not letting anything hold him back any longer. He's like, you know, I'm taking this back. I'm not letting anything defeat me. I'm moving forward. And I feel like you're gaining so much clarity with this King of Swords. Look at this. The sword is down. So she's, she's done what she needed to do. Well, he's done what he's needed to do. And this could be a woman or a man. But... I feel like with this King of Swords, you know, this is strategy. This is deep thought. This is finding your wisdom. This is coming into action. You may have had to speak your peace and stand behind it. You know what I mean? Um, you may have to lay down ground rules, you know, and really stand up for what you believe in. And I feel like that's the reason why the King of Swords is here. Because you stood your ground. You, you spoke your truth. You know, and now you're looking towards the future. You're looking towards your ships coming in, your satisfaction. You know, this could be also you expanding. I believe we had the expansion card here as well. Yeah, we had the expansion card. So, yeah, this is you growing. This is you growing, Aquarius. You're moving past whatever these obstacles were, whatever these challenges were. You're moving past it, and you've overcome it. You're, you're ending off this reading with the Ace of Pentacles. You know, go for it. This is you achieving, uh, you know, more income, more money, more abundance, more enlightenment. You know, this is you taking back what was taken from you because you deserve it. You're finding your balance. You're finding your stability. You're taking back everything that was taken from you, uh, Aquarius. Now look what you have at the bottom. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Ten of Cups. So not only are you celebrating this new beginning, Aquarius, you're happy. You're happy beyond belief, you know. These are your cups. This is your satisfaction. You know, I believe that happy family, happy life is all coming forward for you. Very beautiful. Very beautiful reading so far. Let's take a look at an outcome for Aquarius. Let's take a look at an outcome. What do we have for Aquarius, Spirit? Give me a message for Aquarius. 
Yeah, the Five of Swords again. Yeah, you're definitely... Each challenge that you go through, look, he's fighting off these wolves. He's chasing them away. I feel like any obstacles you go through, any challenges you go through, Aquarius, you're like defeating the dragon, defeating the wolves, you know? I feel like nothing can touch you. You've got victory. You've got the Five of Swords on the Five of Swords. This can be conflict and challenges, but I feel like you've got victory in this situation. Yeah, definitely. You definitely got victory. With the Ace of Pentacles, you have the, the Ace of Swords. You've got clarity. You've got truth. You've got new ideas coming forward. This is your new abilities. You know, new thinking. And we have the Queen of Cups. Beautiful. Like I said, Aquarius, if, if it's love that you're looking for, I feel like love can definitely be coming forward for you with this Queen of Cups energy. Someone, and this could be a Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer that's coming through. That could also be in your chart. But I feel like, you know, she's dipping her toes in the water. She's testing the waters. You know, you could be dating. You could be really socializing. Look at this. She's holding a glass of wine in her hand. And she's like sitting back, relaxing, just taking in the view. You know, and I feel like that's what you're doing. You may be taking in the view of, you know, what opportunities lies ahead for you. You also have the Four of Wands at the bottom. So, so many celebrations coming in for you. You have double confirmation. Double confirmation with the two Four of Wands. That you are going to be celebrating. There's going to be family. There's going to be friends. There's going to be people around you who are celebrating with you. You know, celebrating your victory. You definitely have victory. You may be signing new contracts. You may be... Some, something may be going in your favor. Some kind of legal process, Aquarius, is going in your favor. You've got victory on here. This is you gaining your balance as well. Your karma coming back around for all of your good work. All of the... The things that you've done this is cause and effect so whatever this is is something that you've done in the past coming back for your rewards you know completion yeah whatever this is you're making full circle look we have completion here yeah we have the world so this is complete this is your goals achieved this is success and we also have the King of Wands on the bottom. So whatever this is, you earned this title, Aquarius. You earned whatever it is that's coming through because you've put in the initiative. You've done all the work. You've been very passionate and bold. And you're. Th this could also be you really receiving a powerful position. You know, you're gaining some kind of powerful position in this situation. Yeah, you have the, the hangman on the bottom. We have the hangman up here as well. So whatever the situation is, it's you gaining the wisdom, enlightenment. Looking at things from a different point of view, a different perspective. And taking that knowledge that you receive from using that different perspective and gaining knowledge, wisdom, enlightenment. You know, this is this is some kind of inspirational action that you're taking. This is your urge to create something better, something bold, something new. Beautiful energy, Aquarius.
beautiful energy. Let's take a look at, and you know what, we're going to do Monology first. Let's take a Monology card for Aquarius. Let's take a Monology card for Aquarius, please. Yeah, definitely, Aquarius, your hard work is paying off. Whatever you've done in the past, you're getting your karma, you're getting your reward. You know, something is coming through. You're going through some kind of breakthrough in this situation. And I feel like, look at this, a new start is coming. Something bold, something something new is coming and spirit is letting you know you're also protected you and your loved ones are safe so whatever the situation is spirit is letting you know i have your back you are protected you and your loved ones are protected in this situation okay let's take a look at this we had a card fall out <laughs> Look what fell out, Aquarius. Infinite abundance. Obstacles are being removed. Spiritual support and connection are increasing. Your abundance is coming. It's on the way. Whatever you have in the works is going to be beautiful. February is going to be a very good month for Aquarius. We also have sacred self, unleash your spirit, express your gifts, dance to the sacred rhythm of life. Beautiful. At the bottom we have cosmet, cosmic gateway. Your thoughts are magnetic and powerful. Miraculous changes are occurring. What did I tell you, Aquarius? Beautiful. Beautiful energy. You know what we're going to get? Mm, one more card? Let me fill in one more card for Aquarius. Star bathing. Light body. Crystal grid transmission activation. This is manifestation in, in action. I don't know if you can see her. She's meditating. She's manifesting. She's bringing these things from heaven down to earth. This is manifestation in action. This is you sunbathing, star bathing, you know? Bringing your manifestations to reality, down to life, down to be real, you know? Beautiful energy, Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius, that is what I have for you. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising. Uh, they could give you more clarity on your situation once I have those uploaded. And remember to come back each week for a new reading. Um, I usually have them uploaded starting on Monday and going through the week. And Aquarius, have a beautiful, beautiful February. Many blessings to you. Love and light.